All right, so let's get started. This video is uh, requested by King Twin W UW Three Up. Okay, could you go over the parts you use in the workbench for the drone that flies similar to the DJI Avada Two, please? Yes, we can do that. Um, so basically, I deleted it from Lift Off so that you can have a seamless or similar experience, if not better, uh, moving forward. Okay. So knowing that, uh, thanks again to King Twin uh, for suggesting these video. And like, you know, I always say at the end of each video, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. And here we are. All right, so moving forward, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Liftoff. It should be the same for PC or Mac uh, because we're just adding uh, a feature. Um, and actually, you know what? We're gonna have to hold that thought. Um, hold on. as you see, the DJI drone isn't there anymore. We're going to have to launch Steam first, okay? So first, we're going to launch Steam, and then the search bar thingy right there, uh, we're going to type in um, DJI, okay? And what you'll do is you'll click it. It's in my library, but I removed it. So you'll download it, you'll add it, okay? Or you'll click Play Now, okay? In this case, since it's in my library, you'll click play now, but in your case, you'll find it and then add it. Okay, we're going to click play. We're going to select it. Once it loads, sometimes it takes a little bit of time depending on your machine. Some machines faster. If you're a gamer, you're probably wondering what is taking me so long. Uh, we'll get there. As you see, you know, it's somewhat fast. So as this is a drone, um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go to the toolbox. See right here where it says tools. Okay. Just want to lower that a little bit. And then you're going to go into the workbench. See workbench right here. And then you're going to go into the drone editor. And it, this drove me crazy in the beginning. I'm like, wait, where's the drone? Right? Where's the drone? And then if I go here, if I go, oh, I can just add a drone. Right? Um, you click on the plus, but no, that brings me here. I'm like, wait, where's the drone? So we're going to exit this again and go back to the other menu. Because this, you're probably caught in a loop. Um, yes, return to main menu. Okay, so again, we're going to go to tools. Uh, we're going to go to workbench and then drone editor. And then from the drone editor, we're going to go to blueprints. See, click on blueprints. And now you should be able to add the DJI drone. This looks like a fun little drone. And then this one, this one. And keep going until you see the drone you are looking for. And there it is. Okay. Knowing that, moving forward, select it. And now, um, you know, you can take it for a test flight. You can edit uh, flight controllers. I don't have the controller connected, but actually it might be ideal. If you can edit your PIDs, I'm not a PIDs guy. I just, you know, fly with what I got. Uh, I did the PIDs adjustments um, that were actually recommended uh, by one of our uh, viewers and subscribers, FPV Unknown. Uh, but I has for, you know, playing with the PIDs here, I, I'm i not going to play with it. But if you're familiar with it and comfortable with it, then, you know, move forward with that. Um, you know, you can do other things here, but what we're going to do is I'm just going to hit save. Okay. And then I'm going to click yes and drone setup saved. Okay. And now we can exit since we saved it and say yes. And now, right, when I go back, see, there it is. There's your DJI experience. Now, what you probably want to do is, right, uh, if we go to here, options, controllers, uh, you're, you're probably going to want to uh, go to control, right? And um, see, now you got your DJI controller. It's not moving or working right now because I don't have the, uh, uh, what do they call it? Um, remote controller connected. So what I'm going to do is, I'm, if you just hold on a second, I'm just going to go into another room and get the remote controller and this is great this will it'll fly like the avada um uh i would recommend following javier's video and doing this and when you're ready to level up and go outside um you know then do it and this worked for me uh and again remember well actually i'll walk you no need to remember um so now i'm going to connect the controls 
um, just via USB-C. I'm not sure what you're using, but it should be the same. And then if you wait a little bit, um, after you plug it in, you got to make sure you turn it on. It doesn't uh, power, you know, any other way. So see, now that it's turning on, let's see what we got here. Just wait a little bit, wait for it to find it. See, voila. And then what you'll want to do is it calibrate it. So we'll just calibrate it for the sake of calibrating, especially since I deleted it, right? Start calibration. Okay, we'll do that. Follow its direction. It's kind of like um, beta flight. I remember this part. Okay. Um, so which one is that? Use current. What are, um, center all sticks. So I'm going to have to center this because my joystick is locked. And you want to do it into the bar. See? Okay. Now it wants us to throttle all the way up. Okay. Go there. Oh, throttle all the way up. Go down. Go there. See? Well, I want it to be exactly where it needs to be. There we go. There's that. And then we'll do there. Pitch. And what's next? Center all sticks. Okay. We want to center it. There we go. At center, see, and then we're gonna go that way. And then which, what's next? Center all sticks. Oh, wait, wait, wait. yeah. Make sure they're centered because um, you know, we don't want to mess it up. Uh, no, yeah. I just want to put this back. See, and then center all sticks. Okay, and then save. We followed all the directions, and we can save it. We should be able to. Go for a flight and pretend that we are in the Abada. Um, save it. I thought I just saved it. Okay. Oh, it is saved. Okay. And now exit. All right. So there you see. You see it. Now we can go here to race. And then we're going to go to play. Um, and then you're gonna I'm going to choose Hanover. You choose which one you like. For me, I like Hanover because it has um, really nice open space. You can see my personal times. You know, hopefully I'll beat those other guys, but I doubt it. This is my drone, you see, my, the, the Avada, or whatever it's called, the potato. Uh, and it will fly like the Avada 2, or the Avada 1, and or even like this drone. Uh, the, the, the key here is to have a similar experience to that of the Avada 2 and Avada 1, so that when you go out, um, it's sort of streamlined uh, and pushes you into the process of, of, of familiarity, so that you can just um, fly in manual mode, okay? By turning off that green button because that green button is going to put you in acro. So we select it. Um, now we just wait for it to load. Depending on your machine, you know, it might load faster, it might load slower. I don't know. Throttle sticks down. You press the A key if you want to go into normal. The only thing here is that the buttons don't work, so I can't, you know, have an oh shit moment and and bail out. So you have to press the A key. Um, right now we'll start off in manual mode and <clears throat> all right here we are in manual mode I'm just being quiet because I, I want to pass these checkpoints, which are really tricky. And I think once I get this one and the next one, you're golden. Not golden, there's still a few others, but the hardest part was going through there. Because remember, these drones, anybody could fly high up in manual mode. Um, but remember, these drones are designed to be flown um, lower to the ground. The lower you are, the more experience and challenges. They look like I can fly up there. You can go there, but in real world, trees don't come out of nowhere. That part is like, wait, a tree just appeared. You see, one, but the trick is to start higher up, right? And then work your way down and go lower. And if you have never flown low before, you are going to crash. It's a given. It's like a, a rite of passage, you know? Kind of like, um, I don't know what to compare it to, but it just is what it is. 
Um, but the good thing is, is that when you when we, hold on, this part's tricky. Voila. And so I was, I was going to say, the good thing is, like, if you mess up, you mess up in the simulator, and you, know, you don't mess up on your drone. Or if you mess up on your drone, you don't have to cash in on your, your care refresh. So I pretty much finished one lap. I think you have to do two or three. But look here, I'll just show you an example. See, these guys are already done. These are the pros. Just follow the, the light bike stream lights. See, I can go that way. I can explore. So, you know, you do that in, in the real world. Um, when you go to the park, um, also see Javier's video because he'll show you how to fly, uh, you know, like how to hold your controllers and your sticks. But as I was saying, in the real world, just go up high and experiment, you know, like just fly because you'll, you will get your, you'll get comfortable flying like this, like just going up and down and then level up, challenge yourself to, to go through the checkpoints, you know, and then you'll be, and then that's how I do it. So the, don't even go into race mode, you know, just, and then just experiment, just fly around. And then when you go to the park, do the same thing. Oops, that's, oh, wow, outside, on the, on the most outside of designated area. And, you know, and then when you go to the park, do the same thing, except in the park, you'll be able to um, put it into, uh, you have the panic button. See, if I panic, I'm like, oh no, what's happening? Whoops, turn back. Um, See, and there, there are no limits. If you, no one's going to tell you to turn back in the park. See, um, in this case, the game starts over. So as you saw, let me just go back again. See, um, you could just explore. But in, in the park, remember, you have the old yo ship button, right? So just press it. See, voila. Kind of neat. And then you know you're in full manual because look, watch. Whoa, which way's up? Which way's down? And the trick is to get your bearings as fast as possible. You know, I'm not, I like it, but I'm not a fan of it. It's cool, um, but I don't, you know, I guess for me, I started flying with the motion controller. So you turn back. No one's going to tell you to turn back. Your drone's just going to keep freaking going. And then if you lose control of it, <laughs> good luck with that. Anyway, that's it. Yeah, so, you know, in the real world, um, there are no second chances. I don't know if you remember those driver's ed classes. You only get one take on the road. All right, and that's it. All right, anyway, I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.